your side found out some very important sculptures are being kept in storage. They're busts of unidentified bodies found in our area. There's a push to get them into the public eye, but that could be a long process. News Channel 8's Lindsay Mastis shows us what the problem is. I'm at the courthouse and I want to show you where these sculptures used to identify unknown victims are being kept. Follow me. They're deep on the third floor in the state attorney's office behind lock and key. Here they are stored in a vacant office. There's very little chance that friends and family would be able to see these and recognize them. These sculptures could help solve nine cases. Artists modeled each one from remains discovered in Tampa Bay. For one face, you could have a million people see it, but if it's not that one right person, the sister or the daughter, then it's not gonna make a difference. Kathleen Howarth knows what the families of these unknowns are going through. Her dad, George Zalea, went missing in Citrus County, Florida, 11 years ago. He was just a good guy. He, he would help anybody. He would do anything for anybody. She just found out bones recovered in Homosassa nearly a year ago are his. I needed to have an answer where he was. Maybe I will never know how he died. And that may be something that I have to live with. But at least I have him back. There are thousands of families in Florida still wondering what happened to their loved ones, which is why it's unfathomable these sculptures haven't found a permanent home. Is it a disappointment to you that these aren't on display? They need to be, and what we need is public awareness. Where should these busts be? State Attorney Mark Ober is open to ideas. They need to be on display in high traffic areas, but they're fragile and need to be protected. It could help catch a killer. We're putting pictures of these sculptures and the artifacts on our website, WFLA.com. Please take a look and share them. Let's see if we can bring closure to their families. In Tampa, Lindsay Mastis, News Channel 8. And even though the remains have been discovered or recovered in the Tampa Bay area, some of these victims could have come from out of state.